good morning good morning good morning good morning hey guys welcome back to plants on high i'm cam and i create holistic lifestyle content and today today i am going to be sharing with y'all what i eat in a day so i know it's been a very long time since i have posted a video i know mm. there's been a lot going on and soon enough you guys will find out some of the details of what's been going on but yeah sometimes you know like when you have things going on you're just not feeling it as far as social media and things like that things that can really kind of wait and you know be put on pause um while you hash out and deal with whatever it is so i really like to just post videos when I am truly in good spirits for it, truly in the mood for it. And I truly have something that I want to share with you guys. And so I had not been feeling that um, over the course of a few months. And now I am back. I have more energy. I am back in a good headspace mentally. And so I'm ready to start back sharing with y'all. I'm ready to show y'all what I've been buying, what I've been cooking, what I've been eating, and all of those good things. And maybe even what I've been reading as well. Um, and yeah, I just got a lot of things to share really for the most part, especially now that I am um, starting to homeschool my daughter. So I'll be homeschooling her today. And so that's going to be a new and fun experience as well because she is four. She'll be five next month. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be cool. It's going to be challenging probably a little bit, I'm sure. But Nonetheless, I am grateful for the experience. And so I may even be able to share some of that with y'all as well while we are doing our homeschooling activities as well. And so, yeah, this morning, Dasa is going to have oatmeal. Oatmeal, yeah. She's gonna have oatmeal. I'm not really sure what I want and what I wanna have just yet, but I'm sure I will figure it out while I'm in there. Maybe with some fruit maybe some fruit because i really don't feel like cooking up like a crazy meal or whatever um so yeah i'll probably just have some fruit this morning and we gonna go do this right now i'm gonna make her oatmeal and i'm gonna make my fruit bowl so yeah let's go and i'm just gonna be using this simple truth um instant oatmeal it is the maple and brown sugar flavored oatmeal and yeah i'm gonna boil some water and pour the boiled water over the oats in a bowl. I got these candy, candy snap grapes from Costco. I went to Costco, what day we go to Costco? Went to Costco on Friday. So, yeah, we got some fruit from Costco. I'm gonna have that with these sun gold kiwi. I love these kiwi. <laughs> They're so sweet. So sweet and so juicy. You laughing at me? I heard you. I'm just smiling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so i actually changed my mind <laughs> and i'm gonna have these cherries as well what's in there and some blueberries so that's what i'm gonna do instead are you mocking me please stop Four year olds. Water is boiling. Here we go. Stop mocking me. Stop mocking me. <laughs> Don't forget, school is about to start for you in just a little bit. So. <laughs> cherries, grapes, and blueberries. That's what I'm going to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's try a blueberry. 
Mm-hmm. Strawberry grape. Mm-hmm. So, I'm gonna eat my fruit. Dawson's gonna have her oatmeal. And we're gonna start homeschooling by 10 o'clock. Then we'll be back about noon-ish. Probably like 12.31 to share lunch with y'all. So stay tuned and we'll be back. And hey y'all, I am back and it is lunch time. So for lunch, I'm gonna have this leftover pasta. It's like a garlic white sauce pasta. I just use coconut milk, garlic powder, salt, pepper, um nutritional yeast and i think that was it actually oh and vegan butter so yeah that was all i used for the sauce and the sauce is actually really good but i'm gonna boil some water and just have some broccoli and just have some broccoli with it as well and yeah that'll be my lunch and i'll show you guys that when i am done cooking like i'm just gonna boil the broccoli and the water on the stove top and yeah reheat the noodles and have the broccoli over it and then my daughter Hadassah she just wants fruit and toast so I'm gonna give her fruit and toast if she wants broccoli I'll give her broccoli broccoli is one of her favorite vegetables to eat so we'll see if she wants that if not yeah I'll just give her the grapes and toast um so yeah I will share that with y'all when I am done all right and you know what i also ordered some groceries so yeah i'll have i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna make for dinner because whatever i make i know i'm gonna make it earlier in the day it is 1 11 right now it's 1 11. <laughs> it is 1 11 right now but i'm gonna make dinner probably about probably like four to be honest just to go ahead and have it ready Yep, probably about four. And yeah, I'll be sure to record that and share with y'all what I make for dinner. And you'll be able to see the grocery haul that I have in a whole nother video. I'll do a grocery haul video that's separate because I order these groceries from two different places. So yeah, it's gonna be kind of a lengthy video. And this one is, I, I don't wanna have this one too long. So yeah, I'll share with y'all when I'm done preparing this lunch. And then yeah, I'll be back for dinner time after that. So I did add a little more coconut milk and a little more seasoning as well. this on the broccoli so yeah this is it looks so good mm -hmm. really? so yeah i'm about to go ahead and eat my lunch and i'm gonna relax a little bit watch a little bit of tv before i start sending some emails or something so yep that's what i'm about to do i will be back for dinner time y'all dinner time and really these meals that i'm having i'm intentionally trying to make them like really budget friendly really simple to do because yeah that is what i'm focusing on currently right now and I just want to share that with you guys because I know a lot of people have this idea that eating plant-based is really expensive. And it's like, eh, it can be depending on how you shop, where you shop, and the items that you shop for and for the meals that you're going to be cooking. And so um, it doesn't have to be really expensive. And yeah, I just thought I'd share with y'all some budget-friendly 
meal ideas, simple meals at that, meals that don't take long at all. I made the pasta the other day and of course pasta noodles only take about 11 to 12 minutes. So yeah, and then the simple um, seasonings and toppings that I put on the pasta sauce and the coconut milk and things like that. Like really, really affordable, really simple meal. And it tastes delicious. I actually made the pasta with some mushrooms that are just seasoned really good and that sauce that I had made on the mushrooms was really good too. I used the Trader Joe's barbecue one-on-one -on -one seasoning on that with some, like, some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, paprika, just you know the basic seasonings or whatever and some vegan butter and mix it all up, put it in the oven for about 15 minutes on 400 I believe. Um, and yeah, they were really, 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 really good. I'm gonna show y'all that in another video. I may just make that like next week or whatever. So yeah, it was really good, but also really simple and affordable once again. So that's another meal I'll have to share with y'all. Or you can just go ahead and try it based on the ingredients instructions that I just gave you. So yeah, stay tuned for more and I'll be back for dinner time. Hey guys, I'm the and I'm finishing and I'm almost done decorating this. And I'm gonna let you guys try this. Wait, I just... Tell them what you're having. I'm having yogurt. What flavor is it? Strawberry, see? And what toppings did you put on it? Great. Looks delicious. <laughs> I know. Wait, let me get a spoon. So, it's like, so get it. So she has the strawberry, so delicious, coconut milk yogurt. And this is one of our favorite ones, this one, the strawberry one. All right, and she's gonna have some. We're gonna let her tell us how it tastes. Mm. It tastes so good. So good? Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to 10, how good? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna let you guys try this. I'm gonna try not to waste it. Aw, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your snack, Kadasa. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm about to have the same thing, except for I'm gonna have the vanilla one. Yes, I was putting up groceries. I'm gonna have the vanilla one. And I'm also going to have this granola here with it as well. These cashew clusters I like to get from Costco. Going to have these with them as well because these are busting. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah, that'll be my snack as hey, well. So it is yogurt. dinner time. And really simple. I'm excited yeah, about I got about five of those to share with y'all because it little clusters so in there. Good. And yeah, I mean, it. it was five. Like, I'm not playing. So I got some jalapenos here, some red onions that I diced up, plenty of avocados, clearly. And I also have some corn I'm going to be using. And so uh, I got some pinto beans. And what else we got here? Because, yeah, this Rotel is just diced tomatoes and green peppers and stuff like that. And I'm also having this kombucha that you just saw here as well. So first, I'm going to saute me some garlic mm -hmm, with some grapeseed oil. Got my cumin powder. And what else? Chili powder as well. yeah so this is chili powder yeah 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 some salt i'm gonna also be using some uh paprika as well some garlic powder and something else onion powder but yeah i put my rotel tomatoes in there throw my jalapeno peppers in there as well stir it all up mix it up mix it up then add the corn in stir that up as well make sure you know the corn cooks down because it's frozen corn but yeah this recipe is so simple and it was so good to me. it was also just really really delicious like i loved it like yeah it was bomb add in my pinto beans and you can use any kind of beans you want you got black beans use those if you got kidney beans use those if you got lentils use those now i'm just going to add a little bit of this tomato paste here as well it's going to thicken it up giving it a little more depth as well for that tomato flavor this is kind of like a um i don't even want to call it yeah i'm just say a southwest 
ball or something like that yep got some more cumin i'm gonna throw some more um black pepper in here as well some more salt because yeah we need to make sure we have some flavor in our food we want to make sure we add those seasonings as we need them if you need more seasoning add them add them nobody is judging you nobody is going to say anything to you about your seasoning that you put in your food period okay so yeah i'm pretty much done with this dish honestly after i throw in all these seasonings i'm just going to mix it with the quinoa that i have already prepared toss in those red onions and yeah that's gonna be pretty much it i'm gonna make the guacamole with the avocados and just top that off and that is the entire dish y'all it's super simple like i said and it is so delicious and this is another budget friendly meal here another budget friendly meal so yeah make sure y'all try this recipe out go back rewind it write down the ingredients to this meal and the steps that i took to make it and here i'm just gonna try it out and show y'all like i'm not playing i'm not lying to y'all when i say it is bomb it's busting whatever word you want to use it's fire if you're from memphis so yeah i'm gonna enjoy this meal and thank y'all so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already and also hit the notification bell so you will be notified when i upload because i am back i am back posting more consistently again thanks guys